Hey beauties, today I'm going to be sharing my shampoo and hair care routine after bleaching. I've gotten a lot of questions about this. So today I'm going to be sharing what I personally use on my hair after I bleach to just maintain tone and keep it looking nice and healthy. If you are new to my channel, my name is Deandra. I post lots of hair and fashion videos, all of which I always keep affordable. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and let's get into these hair products. I think the number one question about what I use on my hair is mostly because brunette hair does tend to get brassy after you bleach it. So what I like to do is use a blue shampoo. And the one that I'm using right now is by Fanola. It's called their No Orange Shampoo, but it is actually blue. Blue is gonna get rid of all of your orange tones and purple is going to get rid of of your yellow tones, which I do actually use a purple conditioner just because I feel like the ends of my hair, since they're so light, they do tend to get a little bit yellow as well. So I don't know, I just mix it. It doesn't like make my hair look crazy or anything. So just to be on the safe side, I do tone my hair with blue and purple. This one is a conditioner, blue and purple. You definitely need one or the other. You don't have to be excessive like me, but again, I just kind of feel like the ends of my hair do get yellow. So just to prevent that, I use both. Another thing that might seem excessive is that I do also shampoo and condition with this Fiber Fix Shampoo and Conditioner by Fanola. This is very similar to like an Olaplex where it has the number one and number two. My hair feels so good after I use these. So what I do is I start off with the blue shampoo. And then before rinsing it out, I also add in this Fiber Fix Shampoo and then kind of get the rest of my hair and the ends of my hair as well. So I try to keep the blue on top because that's where most of my brassiness is. And then when I add the fiber fix in, then I will spread that blue color throughout the rest of my hair so that I make sure I'm getting all the brassy tones on the bottom as well. I let it sit for a little bit and then I rinse it off just so that that blue does get deposited in my hair a little bit better. Yeah, wash day is intense, you guys. <laughs> then I go in with the purple conditioner and condition from root to end. I do kind of let this one sit for a little bit. Then I will before rinsing out, apply this mostly on my ends, but I do tend to just kind of mix them both together. And then that's when I let the conditioner set in my hair. Again, because just leaving it a little bit longer, make sure that that color is depositing into your hair, which does also help the tones. And then I just go through the rest of my shower and rinse out at the end. The instructions say to leave for at least five Five minutes so I do try to do that I know it is kind of excessive to use for shampoo and conditioners but it really does help maintain the color of my hair and the health of my hair when I get out of the shower I do tend to blow dry my hair because my ends are so damaged I try not to but I tend to because it just makes styling easier so before I blow dry my hair, I will go in with this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine. This is a anti-frizz serum, so it really helps smooth out the ends of my hair, especially when I blow dry. So I do add this in. Also, before I blow dry, I will add a blow dry spray. This is gonna help your hair dry faster and use less heat on your hair. I do like this one and I'm getting through it, but I think I like the L'Oreal one better. I get it for like $4 on Amazon, but you definitely want a blow dry spray that's gonna help your hair dry faster. My favorite primer, I use this anytime I put heat on my hair. Even if it's like fourth day hair, I still spray this heat protectant in. It is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. Absolutely love this. It makes my hair shiny and yeah. 
I love this. I do also like to apply some of this Blonde Me Shine Elixir. I feel like it makes my hair just look more golden. I love that it has like a shimmery sheen to it. And again, it just makes my blonde, because it's like brunette and blonde at the same time, hair just look prettier. I don't know, but I really do enjoy this stuff. It's like a serum texture. It's not like too oily or anything and it does make my hair look super shiny. I do like big voluminous hair, but I don't like having to tease it. So just to give it some volume on the roots, I really love this got to be powderful stuff. It never leaves a white cast and it never leaves my hair feeling gross or sticky or anything like that. It just gives a lot of volume. So I really, really love this. For the ends of my hair just to be a little bit more voluminous. I really like this Joyco hair shake. Again, these volumizing products just really help my hair look bigger and more voluminous and thick and full without me having to like tease it up because teasing it, especially when it's damaged, is so bad for your hair. So I do like to use those products instead. If I need a good deep condition, I will go in with this Joyco Blonde Life Brightening Mask. Oh, I forgot my Shea Moisture one. I'll include my Shea Moisture one because I talk about that one in literally every one of my bleaching videos. But I do also like this one just to help my blonde look better. My favorite leave-in spray conditioner is this Grow Long Spray Conditioner by Marc Anthony. Guys, this is amazing. It takes all my tangles out. I can put it in my hair every day. It doesn't feel heavy or gross or too thick of a conditioner. It's just the perfect one. I really, really love this. It makes my hair feel soft and pretty and healthy, and I just love that. So I use this a lot. I recently just got this Bedhead After Party Smoothing Cream. I love this. I found this at Ross for $6.99, and it made my hair look so shiny and healthy. So definitely recommend picking up this. It's actually a really great product. I'm very happy that I went for this. I also completely forgot my dry shampoo and the one that I really love and recommend, I'll include a picture because I'm kind of in a hurry trying to finish this video before I pick up Jace, but it is the Living Proof Dry Shampoo, the one that comes in the gray can. It's so good. I'm still on the hunt to try and find one that is as good as that one at a drugstore price, which the Living Proof one isn't that expensive. The reason that I love it so much is because I literally have to dry shampoo my hair one time and I can go like four more days without dry shampoo or washing my hair. My timer just went off to go get Jay's, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that this helped you out. I know it was quick, but I've gotten a lot of questions about it, so I thought that I would share. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed. It really helps me out. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.